Hello and welcome. My name is Fred, and this is Acrylic Pouring by Hydro Fred. Enjoy! You know, it really can be frustrating when you've taken your masterpiece, placed it somewhere to dry, come back and find that there's a fly in the ointment. Darn you fly. So what are you gonna do? You know, an artist could probably fix that very easily, but I'm no artist. What are my options? Well, I could repaint it, of course, but first, I do need to fix that because if there's any debit or anything in here, it will show up in another pour. Say I wanted to save this and make something out of it. I could make a silhouette out of a Cricut machine or use a sticker to place over that, do a resin pour over it or polyurethane, it would look just fine. And the best way I found to do this would be to, of course, fix that and then do a resin pour over it, put your silhouette or sticker where you need to be, and then do another resin pour, and it'll look great. A third option is to make a patch, and let me show you what I'm talking about. You go to your office depot or your staples and you pick up some of these stickers that you can print on, do-it-yourself stickers or mailing stickers. I find these work better because it's thinner and they're easier to cut, all right? So you need to pour some ahead of time so that later on you could take a circle cutter. This one is a two inch and they make a variety of sizes. Also, they make one that is multiple, which is really nice. But you take this bugger here, crimp out your little piece Pull off the backing and stick it where you need it. Now, if you worked ahead of time, you can make a bunch of these in different shapes and sizes and colors. Find what you like, place it on there. Maybe you like a moon or something. So what you would do is you just take it, peel it off, stick it where you want. You got yourself a moon or a planet or whatever you want and then later you could pour resin over it or polyurethane works just fine so I hope these tips helped if you'd like more information please visit me at ineedastore.com that's ineedastore.com thank you very much and you know there's something else I can do with this Hey, you know, I really like these 11 inch MDF boards. They're three quarters of an inch thick and they have a three inch unfinished hole for mounting a clock later if so desired. It also has this deep groove that goes all around the perimeter for hanging in any direction. And that three inch hole fits perfectly on a bean cam. Filled with pennies or lead in this case makes the perfect stand. And a little trick. I like to put tape across the back of it, either painter's tape or even boxing tape. That way, when I'm done, all I have to do is peel the tape off. It's nice and clean and ready to hang. For more information, please visit me at INeedAStore.com. That's INeedAStore.com. Thank you very much. <laughs>